What's good? What's good? What's good, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to the channel Fitness and Guns, and I got another video for you. You already know what it is. I had to get it and add it to my collection. This thing fire, man. Before we get started, I got the window open, so you might hear a little birds chirping here and there, dogs barking, kids outside playing. But hey, this run uncut. I don't do no editing. Cap. Man, shut your bitch ass up. Man, shut your bitch ass up. So what I got for y'all in this video that I don't do no editing in is the Chris Vector. I finally got one. <laughs> yeah, I've been I mean, wanting to add this thing to the collection for a while. And there's a lot of people that's doing reviews on this gun that's leaving like mixed reviews on it. And granted, I ain't shot the gun yet, but this right here is the CRB carbine um, nine millimeter. And I got it in the, what is it? Alpine, uh, the yeah, Alpine white, the yeah, Alpine, whatever it is. Anyway, yeah, I got it in white. Look like a stormtrooper gun. And the first thing I noticed on this gun is, hell, I ain't noticed nothing on it. It's perfect. <laughs> but nah, let me start from the bottom to the top. Huh? And some of y'all already know about Chris Vector, so I mean, hey, it is what it is. But this is not a suppressor. This is a shroud. The barrel is in there. You know, this right can come off as a bolt right here that you can take it off with. But take it off of what? And one thing I do hope they come out with, put like a thread at the end of this thing to where like, you can put a suppressor on. Put a threaded barrel so you can put a suppressor on it. That'll be tight. And the reason why I got the rifle because I feel like it'll be more accurate than the pistol. On you know, a barrel, on a pistol, come out like right here. And honestly, those sharp barrel rifle vectors are, shit ain't, they don't look too good. I said what I said. You got the shroud right here on the, the barrel. Over here, you got your charging handle. Just pull this bad boy head on, and pull back. Before we get started, before I do any of that, there's nothing in the damn mag. Charging handle, pull back. Ain't nothing in there. Bare ball naked. So like any other rifle, you got your bolt release right here. But we don't got to do that because the mag is right here. Slide that back in. Let me show you how that works though. Bolt release. Safety off. Safety on. Safety off. Ridge it is. So now you can. And this right here, I was hearing people saying, this right here, the charge handle, feel like you're about to break it when you racking it. Cap. But, no, nah, it's not like that for me. Probably because I got these big Popeye arms. Yeah, I'm on my lumberjack style today. Don't hate. It's fashion, it's fresh. I ain't fresh. Anyway, I went ahead and put that vertical grip on it because I also did some research and they were saying, when you, if you want to shoot it like this right here, you want to shoot it like this, People have been accidentally hitting the mag release and the mag falling out. Me, I was messing around with it or whatever, and I mean, I'm pressing on it pretty. God damn! God damn! Moving on. We got the optic here. This is the HS510 from Hollison. As you can see, this bad boy here is a poor man EOTech. But this is my old tech. And this is what I'm working with. Hollison ain't bad. So all you haters out there that talk trash about Hollison, this for you right here. <laughs> we'll put pop-up sights on it. You can cool with this with your red dot. You don't even need a red dot. You can just use these right here. That's pretty cool. Now, let's get to the trigger. This trigger. It ain't no breaking point on it. It's a lot of play. You don't get a wall before the break. And I need to release the bolt. Jesus Christ. Yeah. No wall. You see what I'm saying? It's not bad. I'm pretty sure it's something that can be broken in to soften it up, but it is kind of still. Um, also have the white butt stop. Yeah, 
Yeah, look at the rear end on that. Look good, don't it? All in all, I finally got one. I wanted one for a while. I had to add it to the collection. And I just hope they put a threaded barrel conversion kit or whatever kit for this right here or whatever side. So put a little suppressor on it. Even though this look like a suppressor, it's not. But a suppressor wouldn't be bad on this. And it's nine mil. I mean, you got nine mil coming out of this right here. That's basically 22 recoil coming out of this right here. And the mag, you can be, you can count. It's a 10 round mag, basically. Anyway, but I went to mag pool and got this vertical grip. But yeah, long story short, I got the Chris Vector. But check this out. It also comes in a hard case. Yeah, like you ready to go snipe somebody or something, man. Snipe something. Big old sturdy hard case. I got his branding on it. You know, branding is important. Chris Vector. Well, Chris. And in here, have another. 10 round mag. It comes with a lock. Owner's manual. I ain't taking none of that stuff out. Owner's manual. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is basic gun stuff. But it actually came with one mag, and I went and got the Glock 17. That Glock 17 mag. And the uh, Chris Vector mag extender. And I slapped that on the mag. That I purchased, but it came with one straight out the factory, one Chris Vector mag, and that's crazy because I didn't know that it came with one. After looking at people unboxing online, theirs didn't come with one, and if it did, they didn't show it. I guess because of the um, no, nah, they they didn't show it. But I guess I consider myself lucky. <laughs> but anyway. And this coming weekend gonna be another video with this bad boy here putting the first shots through it and i get my feedback on what i think about it on that i need to shut that window but anyway tell me what you think about it write it down in the comments let me know is it a cop or a drop and i ain't done with it i'm gonna get the real the real cover the handguard to go up here maybe i want to put a light on it because as you know i believe in putting a light on everything you own because you never know what situation you might be in with that fire arm with that weapon I'm practicing that. Cap. Yeah, let me know what you think about my new Chris Vector in the comments. Is it a cop or is it a drop? Do you like it? Comment. Let me know. I talk back. And before we go, check out this. A Springfield Prodigy. Got that thing sitting on 30s. Well, actually 26. But yeah. Got that 26 round mag for it. Beautiful, ain't she? There too long. But we got some more content coming. Guys, stay tuned. Appreciate y'all for subscribing. Appreciate the likes, the comments, everything. And as always, be smart, be good, be strong, and always stay strapped. Peace.